So I needed to get everyone's opinion for today's show. Looking at WWE 2K22, I've been racking in my brain about which mode do I want to see in this game. It's going to be one or the other, but I just can't fully decide what I think it should be, what it might be. We're going to talk about that today on the show right now. The WWE games have evolved over the years, right? We've seen a ton of different modes. We've seen create a story and we've seen the GM modes and we've seen universe mode, the online community creations. There's a lot of stuff that they've tried and they've tested and they've utilized over the years. And as the time is shrinking down now and it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter, to me, it's gonna be one of two things that we're gonna get with this year's title. We're either gonna be getting our GM mode or we're gonna be getting a new version of universe mode. What do you think? I'm not saying one is like superior than the other. I try not to say it's gonna be this, it needs to be this. That's not entertaining, is it? It's better if we discuss it, but looking at kind of like the pros of both and what makes them work in their own right. So looking at GM mode, what made this thing so stinking popular and so much fun? For a lot of us, it's gonna be just the like utility of it, I think, of being able to go through and create a story or create a franchise, create your brand, and you're really meticulously defining it. And I think that's really at its core, what kind of gives that loop and coming back for more and more every single time. Everything from kicking it off with a draft to draft your top superstars, to being able to set up the contracts, figuring out what you're gonna actually pay certain stars and top tier stars, or as their contracts come up, paying them more, pulling it down, looking at your budget every single year for this thing. Just talking about it makes me wanna go back and play some SmackDown versus Raw. Or one of the great elements of being able to have trades built into it too which is something that we actually see on WWE programming today, kind of, when they feel like it. And let me know what you think of like what in a GM mode needs to be different. What needs for it to, ah, to, for it to hit different, as they said months ago. What does a GM mode need today to modernize it, to make it new and fresh and unique? I think those staple elements of it need to be in there. I don't need, for me, I don't need to be able to go in and like worry about concessions. It's not a sports game that way, but I like the idea of being able to say, okay, we got new merch for John Cena or Roman Reigns, and you want to be able to charge certain amounts for that merch. That stuff is kind of cool because that does tie into like how it should really run. Or do you take it even tighter and be like, you're gonna focus in on one or two superstars in your GM mode and they're the ones you're gonna kind of follow, whether it be like a creative superstar or an existing superstar on the roster, trying to get their merch sales up, trying to get their actual, you know, their power rankings up and things like that. Should we get something that is gonna be like a mashup of years combined into GM mode? Because as 2K has like been very quiet in terms of news and what they, they're not talking yet about the games in the modes, the most talked about thing was GM mode is the biggest thing that fans are looking for from the next title. So a lot of pressure is on them if they're going to deliver anything that's going to seem like a GM mode. But I think that like what made it really fun was just those again, those core elements of the draft and the be able to have trades and being able to run the finances part of it. You can get silly with like adding in silly storylines and some of the mechanics in there of like adding in promos within your actual match card, getting star ratings, you want to be able to get the highest star rating possible on your show. And if you had the later SmackDown versus Raw games where you introduce, you know, three brands where you could have SmackDown, Raw and NXT compete against each other. That stuff's really cool. And being able to get the most money out of that show and get the highest star rating, that stuff really works. Now let's take a look actually at universe mode and universe mode is what we have known for so many years with the 2K titles and universe mode is interesting, right? Because it's slightly different, obviously, than that of GM mode, where it takes an exhibition and it just kind of, well, let's beef it up a little bit. We add in a couple of little features in there to really make sure you can go for a full calendar year in your universe, but it has its flaws too, right? Of it not including enough. I've always been kind of sour on the fact that within my universe, I haven't been able to create enough rivalries that I want or that stables don't really work in the game. I like that I can go and create new divisions within like, you know, 2K19, 2K20, or I can modify the divisions of my superstars going after different titles, you know, good, better use of money in the bank 
is good. Cash-ins are kind of weird though, and they still don't work in 2K20 very well. Editing my shows, my pay-per-views, the actual design and all of that, or the aesthetics of it. I love that downloading all of the communi community creations when it comes to everything, when it comes to the, you know, the pay-per-views or my Raw or SmackDown arenas. I love all of that stuff. But I find with universe mode, I have to actually be the one to actually kind of create those storylines that I want. I have to be the one to be silly and actually have like drafts and trades on my own every you know six months a year whatever i want to do based on the story that arc that i'm trying to create within within universe mode i even ran universe mode last week where i was going to have roman reigns at wrestlemania fighting edge for the title roman wins and then as we were going to go into smackdown the next week i wanted to have the storyline that i was creating to have john cena making a return to fight roman for the next three months and trying to you know get all the way to money in the bank or SummerSlam. so i was trying to create this new storyline but it doesn't do anything because I just have to add John Cena to the roster on SmackDown and boom, here we go. That's it. It'd be really cool if you could add in a few more elements to it to actually try and expand the universe mode with better storylines and, and cutscenes and being able to select a little bit more. And that's part of the trouble I have with the universe mode. At the same time, some of the stuff that I do like is that being able to actually create that full calendar year. And you've got a lot of control over your universe. It's not perfect by any means, but they've done, I think, as much as they possibly can with that formula when it comes to universe mode. So what do we do? What do we what do we want? Is it a blend hybrid of both? Should it just be a, a better optimized modern version of universe mode that we have seen iterated over the years now with 2K? Or should we just completely be dropping it? And do you think that it's gonna actually just be a fresh GM mode or 24 seven mode or whatever they wanna call it? But whatever mode they choose, I don't know if it's going to be just for the one year or if they're gonna do this, have it go on for year after year after year. To me, this is an opportunity for 2K and the developers to actually take fundamentals and core of whatever this mode is going to be and whatever kind of side they land on with it and what they're gonna select and take it and run with it for several years. I hope they don't strip it whatever mode it is. If it's a universe mode or a, a new GM mode, I hope they don't take it and actually just try and simplify it too much and dumb it down. And we've seen that with games like 2K15 where they take out so many modes and they take out so many features and they almost start from scratch again. I don't want it to feel like it's starting from scratch. I want it to feel like it's robust and it's got a lot in it. And I think we all do. But between the two modes, I don't know if there's necessarily a, a real clear cut winner and what is going to be the mode because they are very similar to each other of just trying to create your brand, create your experience, go through each week. You are trying to get star ratings on the universe mode, even though, but it doesn't really have much consequence. Maybe we get a hybrid of both. It'll be really interesting to see, but let me know what you all think. Are we going to get a hybrid version of GM mode and universe mode? Which way do you stand on this? Do you feel like you enjoy GM mode so much? And what were the features of that that you really enjoyed? Or are you happy with universe mode and you like to see them just kind of polish it a little bit more, refine it, you know, increase rivalries, live updates for the actual super stars and their attires and entrances. What needs to be in that new mode for 2K22 that's really gonna do it for you? I just thought we could chit chat a little bit today and find out because I'm more interested in what all of you have to think about this because I've just started thinking about which mode and which side of things do I stand on that I like more. Kind of nostalgic for GM mode and I do kind of, I'm used to just having universe mode out there playing that, but we'll have to see what we get. Let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoy your video and your content covering all things WWE 2K and wrestling news here on Assemble. Thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next video.